This Saturday, Art and Gardening will combine for the Art in Bloom Garden Tour. This free tour showcases 13 artists and six private gardens in the heart of West Lafayette. Artists will demonstrate the creative process and even offer items for sale. Here to tell us more about Art in Bloom is Chairwoman Lynn Layden and Jim Mayu, Master Gardener and Watercolor Artist. And we've got some of Jim's works around us. We'll get to those in a minute. But first, Jim, I'll ask you, um, what is so great about gardening and art together and tell us about the parallels you see between the two well the best part of it it gives us a good venue to show what we can do uh, and a lot of it is inspiration from the gardens and things too i'm a master gardener so i have a big background in floral and used to be in the floral industry too so uh, it's just a nice place to get out get your work out in front of people to and show Lynn, it. Lynn, we were talking just a minute ago, you're more gardener than artist, but how did this concept come about to combine the two and get people out on the tour? We've been recognizing the great gardens in West Lafayette now for uh, almost 12 years, and we had a collection of great gardens we wanted to show off, so we decided to select them for a tour. Jim, tell us about these two pieces we have in front of us and how you're able to be inspired from a garden around you. Okay, these are just small canvases, they're watercolors. I work in watercolor, pastel, and acrylic, but I try to do all different ranges for somebody that just wants a little something. Uh, some people run out of space for big pieces, but right. uh, these are actually from flowers out at the, the community gardens. I take a lot of photos and work from the pictures themselves because a lot of my work I do at night, so it, it lends itself well to uh, work for inspiration from the gardens. And Lynn, this is now the sixth year for the tour. It's this Saturday, and what times and where is it going to be held? From 10 until 2, and if people come to the Unitarian Universalist Church on Smiling, which is just east of Grant Street, they can get a map and see where all six gardens will be. All right, good luck, and we hope you have great weather for the event. Thanks um, to you both, Jim and Lynn. Thank okay. you. Thank you.